Thank you very much. We just have one more. So once again, I want to introduce on guitar, Mr. Guthrie Govan. <laughs> on drums, the amazing Marco Miniman. My name is Brian Beller, and we are the Aristocrats. Thank you so much for this incredible turnout. You guys totally rock, this is great. Really kind of overwhelming. <laughs> All right, well, we've, we've got a lot of people in here, so I have a feeling I, have a feeling I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. How many of you are musicians? Wow. The usual 90%. Uh, we're, we're, we're super, super grateful that we get to do this. You know, uh, I feel like we're all in this together, and maybe some of you guys have seen, well, we're not doing this project. We're running around with other people, you know, doing side gigs, and... Maybe you've seen Guthrie out with Steven Wilson at some point. Maybe some of you guys. Yeah? Did he play, did they play here? Did Steven Wilson play here? They did, right? Yeah. And uh, maybe Marco with Steven Wilson or Joe Satriani, depending on when you saw him. And I've been running around with Joe Satriani, and maybe some of you saw me with Mike Keneally a couple times here or something like that. Yeah? We're all, we all, are super grateful to be able to do all that stuff and we feel very fortunate, but this project right here, this is, our, this is our baby, this is ours. So we doubly appreciate you guys coming out and supporting the Aristocrats in our second time here. So that's for you. That's for you guys, thank you from us. Now, so musicians out there, have you ever noticed that being a musician can be like awesome and awful at the same time? in the same day, sometimes. I had this experience, what it was for me was I had been on the road for four straight months. My body was wrecked, I was coming back from Russia. I was jet lagged and sick. I got back and I had three days where I had to write my final song for the Culture Clash album and also learn all of their fucking impossible material at the same time. I was under a little bit of stress. So I'm sitting there trying to come up with some song that would work for the last song and I'm like, and I was just, I was, completely blocked and frustrated and tired and sick, and I worked myself up into a kind of frenzy, some might call it petulant, until finally, after two days, I was able to vomit forth this song. Uh, I could, we could do this right now and make it part of the show. This might be fun. Yeah, hold on a second. Here's what we're going to do. Because, because we don't want to miss this part, if we can help it. You guys willing to hang out for a minute while we figure this out? All right. I mean, we'll give it a minute. Here we go. Hold on. Favorites. And scroll. Guthrie Govan. It went straight to voicemail. Oh, it's in airplane mode, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yours is. Yeah, probably, right? <laughs> like that? Like I just... Yeah. <laughs> like I just turned it on. Oh, well. Okay, I'll turn this off. Oh, well. Are we going to move on to alternate plan B for this? I'll just try and sound like a phone, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm back in airplane mode. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This song, for reasons for which you are now very aware, is called Living the Dream.
Oh, oh, oh.